I'm graduating from UCLA. My commencement day began at my friend's grad party, where I took two vodka shooters for breakfast. We're about to head into the first section of graduation. Oh, so scratch that and make it three. <laughs> Casual Tito shot. This is my third. We walked to campus and I met up with my mom, who flew all the way from New Jersey for this moment. Um, I don't use Bobby <laughs> <laughs> I made like a little nod. Thank you. Study hard, party harder, motherfuckers. By the time I got into the commencement ceremony, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I, I was pretty wasted. Um, it was really fun. I got to sit with my friends. We all started swaying back and forth and got ourselves up on the big screen at one point. We had a pretty cool commencement speaker, too. Apparently, our commencement speaker's been in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Or whether I'm fighting with my turtle brothers as the voice of Raphael, let's go kick some shit out. I am what you are a Bruin. Life. Fast forward to like an hour later. <laughs> I'm hungover already because I took way too many shooters for the grad. This is Nicole. Hi. It's my roommate. I'm wearing sunglasses because I've cried so much that my eyes are puffy and red. I also have a headache and I don't know if that's from crying so much or from just like drinking. Probably from drinking and Probably crying. from drinking and crying and not eating. That the alcohol makes yeah. you dehydrated and crying. <laughs> yeah. We're going to Bree's grad party. I'm gonna put a smile on. I'm gonna be okay. It's gonna be a great night. It was not okay or a great night. By the time I got to Breeze, I had a shakingly bad hangover. So I just went home and went to sleep. Hey guys, so happy second day of graduation weekend. I ended up going home from Breeze party so hungover yesterday. I, mean, I woke up this morning at 5 a.m., watched the sunrise, edited some videos, cried a bunch. I'm literally still a mess. But you know, we're gonna go meet my family. I don't want to fucking cry my bed all weekend. We went on a cute little walk through the UCLA Botanical Gardens before we cleaned hi, out my entire apartment. Hi. Mama's been helping me pack, getting ready to move, to get out of here. And we cleaned for literally 10 hours that day before I headed over to my roommate Nicole's grad party. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> UCLA graduation. This is my best friend Sam. I'm also Sam. Let's fucking go. Let's yeah. fucking go. We did it. We did that shit. We did it. We got the degree. From UCLA. Number one Number one public. public university. Stop. <laughs> we didn't plan that. Should I do Sammy Brielle? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sammy Brielle. I should probably do my full name. Come on, come on, come on. We're about to walk out. Oh my god. Should I record it? Okay. POP, you are literally grad. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, are you going to be embarrassed if I do that? Shit. This is really happening. We're walking. We are walking. We are going. You look amazing. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so many people. Where's my mom? Where's my mother? Deborah. Where's Debbie at? Yo, we just got front row. As I sat there next to Sam, who's been my best friend since my first quarter of college, I was just feeling so grateful and present. I didn't really record that much, but my mom recorded me walking. <laughs> Samantha Brielle Greenberg. I cannot believe this was the moment that we spent all that tuition money for. Like, I, I didn't even get handed a degree. Like, whatever, I guess. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Regents of the University of California, it is my honor to confer upon you the baccalaureate degree in communication. Please turn your castles from the right to the left side of your motor board. Congratulations to the class of 2024. Yes, Sam, here you go. Congrats! Yeah. We graduated! So anti I know, bro. They didn't even hand us a degree when we walked across the stage. The last thing we had to do was touch the water in the inverted fountain. It's a tradition for UCLA students to touch it the first time they attend UCLA, and then you're not allowed to touch it again until you graduate. It's the first time. It's the first time I get to touch the inverted fountain because I've graduated. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping into this fountain with my best friends was one of the most bittersweet moments of my life. It meant that we had the opportunity to be so proud of ourselves, but it also meant that we were really done. 
To me, college was never about the degree or the grades. It was about finding a place where I finally felt like I belonged and a place that encouraged me to work toward a better version of myself every day. Right to the right, we have a study room. This is where I spend grueling long hours. That's my friend Morgan. <laughs> that and so much more is what I found within my UCLA community. To my dance team, my last ever college dance team practice in a parking lot. It doesn't feel real. My communications friends and my roommates throughout the past four years. We pissed, we shit, and we died. We and everyone's pissed. Get taken. Genuinely thought Singapore was like in China. No. I didn't realize it was its own country. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your life journey. I feel so lucky that you are now all a part of mine. I'm so proud of the class of 2024. Congratulations.